R&B money. We fell into this this zone where we kind of got stuck when we were like 16 with the Journey album. We kind of got stuck in that, you know, adolescence mm-hmm. age where it was like my voice was weird. It was changing and, you know, we were kind of like growing up, but then we were like, you know, didn't, wasn't really kids no more. So it's not like the wow factor of being, oh, these kids gotcha. are talented. Yeah, yeah. Now they're teenagers and it's kind of like, mm, what are y'all going to do now? Right. So that album didn't really do well. Journey was like, Had y'all right. done House Party 3 yet? Or 4? No. So not House Party 4 yet. Then after that, we go to the label and uh, Randy Jackson came mm-hmm. into MCA mm-hmm. and he was in charge of our project. For people that don't know, let them know who Randy Jackson Randy is Jackson. and what oh, it became. Dude, Randy what it Jackson. became. Randy Jackson, the American Idol. Yeah. You know, people, all, did, people didn't realize that he was really a staple in the music. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. He was really a guy. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Randy was that guy. So Randy Jackson comes in, meets with us, meets with Chris and says, you know, we want to, you know, the guys are getting older at this point. We're like 17, 18 going into, you know, and it's like, we want to kind of do something different. We want to change the name. And I thought I think that might have been a mistake because Immature was the brand. And we didn't realize that mm-hmm. Im- the name Immature was the brand. Mm-hmm. It's like boys to men. You know, and we changed the name to IMX. Mm-hmm. They came in a whole MCA staff. And, okay, we love IMX. You know, we thought about like, I'm mature or this and that. But, you know, I changed the IMX and then we put out uh, State of Night. Mm-hmm. So we kind of crossed that was our first time really crossing other than never lie crossing into like you know crossover mm-hmm. crossover pop that was a huge pop single mm-hmm. stay the night and it was working so we was like okay we 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 weathered the storm we figured it out we figured it out gold single you know did really good we crossing over the whole label gets fired that happened everybody that was cool. Randy, that was happening that happened. Yeah. everybody yeah. Yeah. clean house right after the we are have we have this successful single Everybody gets canned. Our album gets put on the shelf. No more singles. And we ended up leaving MCA at that point. Chris was like, let's just go. You know, we'll we'll take we'll take the the release. And then we did another independent album. That's when we did House Party Four. Then mm-hmm. did another independent album, which was uh we did we came out with first time. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna let you Breeze over House Party 4, though. House Party 4? No, 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 no. I'm saying no, you you skip. You're not going to let you skip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. House Party 4 no, no, was a classic. No, yeah. no, it's fucking classic. Yeah, you got to talk to talk. And Bernie Mac. Yeah. Chris well, that's three. Tucker. No, that's three. No, no, no. With, when Bernie y'all... Mac, Chris Tucker, that's three. So that was... Three, yes. Yeah, that was... So you had already done three. We had already done three, yeah, because three was like when we were still virgin days. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So Actually, that was before because oh, it threw we me off. successful. Back to it. Asian nigga in, in House yeah, Party he's, 3. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's in House Party yeah, 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same time, man. Yeah, Same I don't know time, you. man. Yeah. I don't know you, yeah. man. <laughs> You're so stupid. And so, what was it? What was, it? was it Sex is a Weapon? Sex is, sex is a Weapon. Sex is a Weapon. <laughs> yep. So yeah, House Party 3 was before oh we God. actually... No, no, no. You niggas actually went and made your own House Party 4. our own House yes! Party. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Now it's, now it's yeah. all clicking now. These yeah. niggas took the movie. Yeah. yeah. So we just, you know, and we were signing New Line Records. Came out with a couple records and that did. Wait, wait, wait. Like as in New Line Seminar? Yeah. Had a record label? Yep. Wow. New Line Records. That. So that's how y'all was able to negotiate mm-hmm. the movie. Yep. So New Line Records put out, put out. Oh yeah, y'all been doing business. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Chris Stokes is a bi- genius businessman. Yeah. So he's always gonna have the 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 what's next. So, you know, we we did that. Did House Party Four on our own. And that was able we were able to kind of transition a little bit, and that's when we uh that was the beginning era of B2K. That's where mm-hmm. they start coming into the, yeah. to the picture. Ooh, yeah. R&B money. 